Hi, this is Josh Gabriel. And I'm Dave Dresden. We're Gabriel and Dresden, and you're watching Global Digital DJs. Welcome back to Seattle. Thank you. We're, we're, we're happy to be, to be back. here. And it's a beautiful day, actually. So. Yes, I think this is the first time I've ever seen sun in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> we know everyone is waiting for you guys' return uh, for a long time. Um, your time apart, um, how does that help you guys as musicians? Well, we got to both explore different sides of ourselves that we didn't explore together, so like any any relationship or any kind of anything you you know you got we got a chance to to work on different parts of ourselves and I think we're better off for it. I think we we also got to work with a lot of different producers so we um learned a bunch of new things and we also learned how to be a better collaborator so now when we work together the workflow is a lot better and uh and things happen quicker and we kind of know what e what each other is going to do and and we go and do that now. Well, we all remember the track Tracking Down, uh, which was a big hit. Um, are you guys working on any new tracks, and what can we expect from you guys this year? Well, we actually are just finishing, we'll probably play tonight, uh, a remix of Tracking Treasure Down, a brand new remix. Uh, we're working on a mix CD, so the on that mix CD will be a new remix of Tracking Treasure Down, the remix we just did of Promises and Dane, um, and an original instrumental, and... Uh, it's looking like there'll be another vocal on there. So we're maybe working, two vocals. Yeah, we're working on, we're working on. Uh, so we're just working on music, and, and this mix CD is the thing we're working on now. It'll be out in August. So what kind of support that you guys are getting from the DJ community, and since you guys have been back together? I mean, I don't know about the DJ community. We don't really. I mean, uh, I mean, people have been, people have expressed that they're happy they were back together. But I'd say more importantly. It's the people, it's the fans, the people that like the music that have really given us a clear message that they're happy that we've been, that we're mm -hmm. back together. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. So when when each of you made a solo project, um, your sound individually is very different. Uh, how do you find great sounds uh, when you guys work together? Well, we we have. Um, uh, it's like a Venn diagram, you know? It's like we, we both have parts of each other that overlap, and we try to find that space. That's exactly <laughs> what we do. <laughs> <laughs> what well, question for Dave. Um, knowing you have roots in journalism, uh, do you have an inspiration to delve back into it? Uh, no, I, uh, I totally used writing and journalism to uh, meet a lot of people in the industry and, and get a name. And it was a really great experience, but it's a lot of work. And I'd rather p apply the, a lot of work to the music uh, than writing about it. And Josh, I have a question for you as well. Um, you release eight as a solo artist in the future. Do you hope to release solo and collaboration collaborative albums? Um, I probably won't be doing a Josh Gabriel album anytime soon. Um, my focus is going to be on uh, Gabriel and Dresden stuff and uh, and Dane, but I just that that album's now done. So I'm really, re finally, yeah, and I really, 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 uh, my my effort now is working on Gabriel and Dresden, and anything else that I do that's outside of that is more going to be just uh, for fun, you know, fun projects that I'm working oh, on. Oh, he's he's got this one thing on the back burner <laughs> right now. It is special. So. Wow. But. Uh, but no, we're, the, the, we're 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 working together, and that's what we're focusing all our our time on right now. So it, the fans, they basically spoke, and they you know they've been telling us ever since we broke up that you know they wanted us back together, and you know after seeing that thousands of times on Facebook, it kind of makes you think. So we're just really you know putting all of our time and effort into that because you know there's a lot of people around the world that are very passionate about what we did, what we've done, and and that we're back together. So I think it's time to feed it or we think that it's time to feed it. Um, have the two of you spent extensive time in the studio together? Um, we actually, no, we, we still have not really, I mean, actually we were just in Amsterdam last week for the first time making music in the same set of, set of speakers at the same time. 
we've been Dave lives in Oakland, I live in Amsterdam, so we we've been doing things via Skype. So we talk about things. We even we have been work we've been working ideas while you know, so he'll be working at his house and I'll hear what he's doing and uh, he'll I'll be doing something and we'll be working at the same time and uh, it's actually turned out to be quite productive because we can each do something and then come together and send each other clips and you know, as long as you kind of are working at the same time, it's it, it feels almost the same as working together in the same place. Well, we've also made it made it uh, made working on the music on the road work yeah. a lot better now, especially That's with the, making most of our music, with the yeah. speed of laptops and all the you know technology as the way it is now. You can really do a lot on the road, and you know you can do pretty much everything except the final mix. And even the final mix, if you're good with headphones, you can do that too. So. You know, we're basically using the same tools as we would in a studio in a hotel room. So we spend a lot of time before the gigs um, trying to work on new ideas. So have you guys found your time apart, um, uh, opened up different ideas, and you've worked together differently? Um, well, I, I was talking about like how um, musically, for example, I go to this place called Burning Man every year, and... I heard dubstep there, you know, a while ago, and and uh, it it I, I loved what I was hearing and the energy that it was creating, and um, played some of the stuff for Dave, and and uh, he sort of became a convert of the idea that there's something there, and we've added elements to our to what we're doing, and and uh, I definitely was a dubstep player hater, <laughs> and um, I kind of knew that if I gave it a little time and a chance, I would have liked it, but it wasn't until Josh kind of you know, a couple of days before our New Year's show was playing me dubstep tracks that we might want to drop on New Year's, and I was thinking about the possibilities of it. And, you know, since then, we've actually done some bootlegs of dubstep tracks so we can play them in our sets. But, you know, I think that we also uh, just learned a lot of different new sounds. Uh, you know, I've been listening to a lot of the music, the dance music that has, you know, come from the underground and is now major and massive. And things have grown and changed so quickly in the last few years, and you know I'm bringing those influences to. And, I, and I've listened to, to a lot of indie rock and stuff, and, 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 you know, and so just the uh, sort of obscure, obscure uh, bands, and and just production of all sorts of music always finds its way into what we do. So, what can we expect from you guys tonight? The unexpected. <laughs> uh, lots of. Uh, You'll hear lots of familiar things uh, in unfamiliar ways. Yes. Um, and uh, you'll hear some old stuff, some new stuff. And uh, um, I'd say in general, we're probably more energetic and more vocals than you remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, 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 we've played a lot of festivals since we've reunited, and, and that has definitely Influence, influenced sorry. the sound that we're playing now. Uh, it's, it's a lot harder, a lot more energetic than it was before. How do you see the state of dance music in America? I, I think it's blowing up. I actually, I was just looking at the um, top charts, the top tens in the UK and, the, and America. And I, first of all, I don't think I've ever seen it where the two top tens were so similar and so full of dance music. So, you know, it's a different kind of dance music that's becoming popular. Like LMFAO has real electro sounds in it, but it's really poppy. And, you know, like that Neo Pitbull song with Afrojack, you know, it's, it's you know, it's hip hop done in a, in, a, in a dance music style. So, you know, real electronic music producers and DJs are making some real money in, 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 in music now. And that's really exciting and really exciting for us because I think that we make the kind of music that could cross over as well. Great. Thank you so much for doing this. And uh, we are looking forward to your set tonight. Yeah, we're looking forward to it as well. We'll see you, uh, see you guys tonight. On the dance floor. <laughs>